Hello, Jess and the dog. <laughs> oh, okay. We're gonna move on to Tim Tim. Mondays. Boy, Nobody yeah. wants to be happy on a Monday. I'm back so I actually wasn't going to vlog today because today already sucks like it's only it's not even seven o'clock and today is sucking I'm having a hard time I'm struggling it's just not great and in recovery we don't have good days we have really bad days and I am documenting my journey in recovery and I have those bad days too I just want to share that with you guys so you can know you're not alone I am pretty positive and pretty motivated most of the time but I also have my struggles and my doubts and my weak moments and it's gonna be good to do a full day of eating today because that'll help honestly that'll help keep me more motivated to eat because I'm already off to a bad start you guys didn't really have a real breakfast I did have an Ensure or boost I guess which did have a good amount of you know nutrients in it and half a banana but that was a struggle and that I had to force myself as well and um, the reason I'm having a bad day today is because yesterday, if you live in America, you know what yesterday was, or I guess it'll be two days ago for you guys. On Sunday, February 4th was the Super Bowl, which is a huge day. With that comes parties and a lot of food. Definitely indulged in a lot of food and uh, a lot of food that I would normally want and just a lot of crappy food. And I, I, I won't say crappy, I mean, you know, I, I think everything in moderation is fine, but I do not feel so great about it now. I am honestly very bloated. I already went into the day constipated, sorry guys, and now I'm super bloated and I just feel gross and I'm full and I don't want to eat. I don't eat breakfast. I don't. But I feel like, I feel like I can't say that because you guys look up to me and have to be perfect and I know that's not true, but to me I have to be perfect. I'm so ashamed that I'm having a bad day letting you guys down but I do want to be honest with you guys because I think that's important and sorry this video is going to be real and um, I don't know how it's going to go I don't know how much I'm going to eat I'm going to try my hardest to fight the thoughts but I'm struggling I am struggling anyway I just wanted to say that it's part of recovery and it sucks but yeah anyway all right I have to go pick up the boys and then I will see you guys at home hopefully eating breakfast Anyways. got out of his car because I just pulled up and he came to give me a hug and tell me he loves me. He hopes I have a good day. I'm going to cry now because like literally he just wanted to say goodbye to me and I love him and I'm having a really bad day guys. I'm sorry to say that and I don't want to be that person. I want to be the person that you guys um, can always look up to but I love you dad. Shout out to my dad, who's the best dad in the world. There's like dry patches of skin on my face, that's why it's red. Excuse that. But it's been a bit since I got home and I just went upstairs and had some coffee and sat into my Bible study. Um, because like I mentioned, that really helps get my mind focused back where it should be. It's like 9.30 and I really, really don't want to eat anything. But I know that's the eating disorder. And I know that's not helping me in my recovery. So I'm going to get something to eat and we're going to eat it together. Gonna take you guys with me along my thought process as I eat and okay. So let's find some food. I don't tolerate oats very well. They give me massive bloating and massive gas. Um, but I really like the idea of oats and porridge, and I really want them. So what I did was I crumbled up a bunch of Weetabix and basically did an overnight oats recipe with Weetabix. So it's overnight Weetabix. So it's in this big um, mason jar. And I even wrote out the ingredients on the top so I can remember what exactly I put into it. Look at that. Oh yes, it's carrot cake Weetabix, that's what it is. This is how big it is, it's pretty big, I mean, what it looks like. And I'm actually gonna grab some nuts, like pecans, and add some nuts on top for the extra calories and the fat. So I'm gonna take this upstairs and eat this and have a chat with you guys.
Basically last night was, like I've said, the Super Bowl. Like I ate a lot of stuff. I definitely had urges that I haven't had in a long time. Like they were high. Oh, I warmed up by the way. I mean, it tastes like weed bix Anyway. I haven't gone to the bathroom. I haven't, like, I just feel like I'm retaining everything. One of my problems is I, is I don't like putting food into my stomach when I have this thought that there's already a bunch of food in there. Like, you don't deserve to eat because all that food you ate last night is still sitting there because it hasn't gone anywhere. That's what I struggle with getting myself to eat. More food because I already have food in there, which I know it's digesting and going places. So I know the right thing, you know, rationally I know, but it's just fighting those thoughts, so. Like, I don't want to eat this at all. But that's the eating disorder, so I'm eating it. I'm so not hungry. This is my medicine. Food is medicine, and I need to eat it. And just because I had a bad day the night before does not mean that you don't get to take your medicine. You know, I might need to go add another Weetabix just to make it less runny. That means I have to go get up. I struggle. And I know this goes against everything I want to do right now, but I'm going to go get another Weetabix and put it in here. I like the thicker consistency. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I have my thing. I actually also got some pineapple because my sister bought pineapple for something yesterday. So I got a little bit of pineapple because, you know, apparently those enzymes help with the bloating. So we're just going to... Ah, we lost the pineapple. we do is we just crumble it. Okay, this is gonna be messy. Yeah, we're just gonna crumble it on in there. I'm a mess, okay. Now we're gonna stir. Mm. That's better. Yeah, the consistency is better. Back to the food, the medicine. So basically this turned into like a pineapple carrot cake overnight Weetabix. Not bad. Actually, it tastes really good, you guys. I'm actually enjoying this, so that's good. I wasn't hungry at all, and now I'm like, oh, okay, that's good. Mm. And I had a thought. Wow, it's gonna rain outside. That wasn't a thought, but it's gonna rain. When you know you're eating with your family, and your portions are so much bigger than other people's portions, and we freak out, we're like, oh my gosh, I'm fat now because I'm eating so much. But here's the thing. Think of it this way. That's what I think of. That food is your medicine. Okay, you are sick with a disease that they do not have. So, let's switch the, let's turn it around a little bit. What if they had cancer? What if they had like kidney failure and they had to go through chemo and they had to be hooked up to dialysis because of their disease? They're not expecting you to go get hooked up to dialysis on the machine next to them and keep them company. They're not expecting you to go through chemo and radiation so they don't have to be alone. Like, that's ridiculous. You would never do that and they would never expect you to do that. So. People that don't have eating disorders don't need to be eating thousands and thousands and thousands of calories to heal their body. But we, you, are not them. You are someone who is sick with a mental illness that has physical side effects and physical consequences and food is your medicine and you gotta eat the food and it doesn't matter what anyone else is eating, you take your medicine. I'm taking my medicine. And I must say, my medicine tastes pretty dang good. <laughs> Honestly, as I'm eating and talking to you guys, I'm already feeling better, so that's good. It's crazy how food improves your mood. What? Just an update, you guys. Boom, gone, yum, delicious. Kind of proud of myself for that one. So my mother, Hurt her arm. What did you do hurting your arm? Tennis elbow. I don't play tennis. So she went to do some something physical therapy. Like she's an athlete or something. Yes, it's supposed to help and it exercises. And I iced it with a bag of frozen peas. Oh yes. The That's peas. Really great. Alright guys, it is about lunchtime and I'm just preparing some food. Big plate for a big lunch. Okay. Alright, so we have two of the Thomas bagel thins. I toasted them up. I'm gonna put my maple chicken sweet potato mixture on one of them and then some cashew butter on the other one. Big 
goes with the multiple toppings because you know I can never decide. Um, the chicken that I put on that one, just like the same recipe that I've been using, has one tablespoon of almond butter, a good portion of maple syrup, a few sweet potatoes in it, chicken, pumpkin. It's like my my sweet chicken mashup. So that's what's on that one. actually really good. I highly recommend. I'm gonna keep snacking on this. Still do not feel good at all. It's fine. Like I'm, I'm able to handle it better. I'm able to cope. The day has gotten better. It was just a bit of a struggle at the beginning. But let me just say, you guys, I don't think I've actually ever truly thanked you guys for all the support and the love that you show me all the time, like daily. Like, in the comments like I little I'm crying over here like you guys are the reason that I keep doing what I'm doing and you guys you know you keep saying that I encourage you and I inspire you but you guys seriously encourage and inspire me too like I wouldn't be able to do this with all the support and the love that you guys show me as well so it goes both ways and I just want to say thank you so much for all of the love and the support that you constantly shower on me all of you guys Actually, not all of you guys most of you guys there are some haters out there and I've had to learn to get over those people because they're there and uh you guys are just the most amazing friends that i've never met and i'm gonna start crying again you guys brighten my day my day's already gotten immensely better that was my little ramble and um tigger tigger says hi too so yeah we're gonna go now bye i can't decide what i want for a snack but this was sitting here so i'm eating this while i'm thinking <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna have I'm gonna have this with um, that granola. Okay, final verdict. I'm gonna have this Barney's butter almond butter, crunchy. And I'm also gonna have this. Oh my gosh, no! Ugh. Yeah, that's awkward. I'm gonna try a bite of the mixed in yogurt and granola. That is so good, you guys. You can't even tell that it's not dairy. It's just coconut. Okay, well, I have to go and find a new tripod or order one, so we'll see you guys later. It's like, how far can I stick my face in there with my tongue to get out every last little morsel without getting it on my face? Uh, I always get it on my face. Ta-da! That was really good. Always, I'm actually just snacking on like three or four of these pineapple slice pieces. And yeah, the canned stuff is not as good as the fresh, but it's fine. It is so gonna rain, you guys. It hasn't yet, but it's gonna. I can feel it. I will also be taking this and having this with my dinner for the extra calories. Okay, so today is Monday, which means I do have to pick up my boys from school. <laughs> my boys getting all mommy on them. I packed my dinner, so I was gonna show you guys that. So what I'm gonna be having is some leftover from last night. We had Hawaiian chicken with our Super Bowl party. So I have a good portion of that in there. It's about four ounces worth of shredded chicken and like yummy seasoning and stuff. And then I'm going to just get love, the measuring cup. Yes, I'm wearing this again because Texas is bipolar and it is now like 30 degrees, whereas yesterday it was 70. Get it together, Texas. We're gonna be doing some sweet taters for the carbs. And I just have a bowl. I warmed up the roasted sweet potatoes that I had. They're like frozen, so I warmed them up. So the normal serving is a half a cup, which is this. But we're gonna do a whole cup because I need more, like I talked about. One cup of sweet potatoes and three to four ounces of Hawaiian sweet barbecue chicken. Oh, you know what would be really good on this? Is this on the sweet taters. I'm just gonna, whoa. I'm just gonna drizzle. Guys, I am dying. I'm on my way home from the boys and my stomach hurts so bad, like cramps so bad I can't even sit up straight. <sighs> 
I don't know what's happening. Is it the potatoes? Is that a thing, you guys? Like, let me know because someone did tell me that sweet potatoes and potatoes can cause problems for some people. And every time I eat them, I get really bad gas and cramps. And I guess because I had a lot of sweet potato today, I don't know. I can't breathe. It sucks. This sucks. 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 Send help. Let me know if if that's a thing. Cause I don't. I don't know. I just want to curl up in a ball and cry with Tigger. Update still dying so do you guys ever get this um struggle when like you feel so disgusting and gross and my stomach hurts so bad but at the same time i'm hungry and i want food and i'm thinking about food and you know i know i should eat because i'm mentally hungry and i guess sort of physically hungry but at the same time i'm physically like dying of cramps i don't know what to do no i know what to do I just i'm watching jen brett uh first to motivate me because she's amazing go watch her I love her so much so she posted a video today so I'm watching that now and working up the courage to go get food it sucks why is recovery so hard why well I guess if it was easy we wouldn't have so many eating disorder problems okay I'm gonna keep watching this and I'll show you guys what I eat all right friends so um, I got up and for my snack I literally threw together three cups of cereal and I put it in a bag and I'm just munching on my cereal. Shoot, oh, almost spilled, that would have been tragic. I'm just munching on that because that's something easy. I also brought up a Lenny and Larry's cookie that I've already started eating, so. I'm gonna eat my Lenny and Larry cookie and my cereal. And yeah, that's the current stage. I ventured downstairs for some more food, and right now I'm just enjoying a snack of Biscoff cookie butter, Triscuits, and no, I did not buy reduced fat. My mother did, but that's all we have. Just take a cracker. You get yourself a generous little dollop there. I'm gonna finish off this box and take this and watch TV probably. Right, so I am feeling a bit better. I'm having myself some ice cream now to end off the night. So what we have here is vanilla ice cream, chocolate covered banana ice cream, which surprisingly is way better than it sounds. Some sprinkles, cause sprinkles just make everything better. Mom, what are you doing? I'm doing my exercises for my tennis elbow. With a lacrosse ball. Oh, I thought it was an orange. <laughs> it's like, Mom, you're mushing an orange. Back to my ice cream and the sprinkles. I found more sprinkles. We're gonna add more sprinkles. Okie dokie, so the final beautiful product. I what? I can't sell by Christmas all year long? Psh, watch me. Alright, I'm gonna go finish eating this deliciousness. And I think we're gonna watch some Narnia thing. All right, my friends, that is going to end out the vlog for today. Uh, I'm actually ending on a happier note because, I don't know, two bowls of ice cream and cereal and cookies, I guess that'll put you in a, on a sugar high or something. And then I also just literally took the bottle of sprinkles and dumped them in my hand and ate them. Yeah, there's the evidence of that. It's not gonna lie, I'm feeling a bit guilty about just putting pure chemically sugar in my body. I'm moving on with my night. I hope it was insightful for you to see that I'm just a real person like you guys and I struggle a lot and that's normal and that's part of recovery and recovery is not like this. Recovery is like this. Hopefully going that way. But anyway, if you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. So stay tuned for more and Tigger and I will see you in the next video. I love you guys.